Maybe not. The most iconic oh, killer. killer! Killer, killer, killer! Nice. Keep going, Doctor, Today, keep going! A once massive streamer was exposed for stealing $500,000, roughly, from his fans. This is the story of Ice Poseidon and CX Fling. I'm sure you've heard of Ice Poseidon at some point. He used to be the most influential streamer on Twitch, but over the years he's faded into obscurity like a fart in the wind. Just fleeting, but stinking the entire time. Ice Poseidon's a name you still can't even really mention on Twitch. It's like Voldemort because he got banned on there quite a while ago. And then when he made the switch to YouTube, he never quite recovered. So his channel really faded and now it's just kind of like talking about a fossil. But last year, he made kind of a resurgence. He announced a cryptocurrency called CX Coin. Now, even just at a surface level, knowing nothing about Ice Poseidon, it still seems like a stupid thing to invest in just a random streamer who has no technological background announcing a cryptocurrency. You'd have to be pretty close to overdosing on Xanax to think that that's a worthwhile investment. But no. I have to be totally honest. Penguin is corny. Exploring his past makes it even goofier. Ice Poseidon has a But he does have he does have the halo He, he okay all right wait a minute He has a master chief helmet in his, in his in his room so he might not be corny history of openly scamming people and being super honest with it He even went on stream one time just fully admitting to a Ponzi scheme he was running So it's a Ponzi and then scheme. obviously when we get more than two million dollars invested, yeah, there are the other investors who get their two mil okay. back. That's not a Ponzi scheme or a pyramid scheme. Okay. Uh, I don't really know how to explain it, because I didn't explain that very well, I guess. That is the textbook definition of a Ponzi scheme. It's like he fucking read it right off of Webster's. It, and he's just super honest with it. He also talked about the time he used to fish credit cards. Like, he openly has admitted to scams in the past, and yet for some reason, when he announced this cryptocurrency, people still put money into it. And I'm sure, just like a Darman video, they live to regret it because, goddamn, uh, a video came out today where CoffeeZilla dove in and proved that Ice Poseidon took it almost $500,000 from that cryptocurrency, just rug pulled it. And it's a great video. I highly encourage you to watch it. I'm going to show a couple of clips here. But he does a great job of laying it all out and even brings Ice Poseidon himself on the horn, who openly admits again to. Chat. Chat. Honestly, hold on. Let me just do this. Who's stealing the money and refusing to give it back, even though he openly says, yes, I took the money. It's an actual fucking felony. The dude just openly admits to defrauding investors. It's, it's crazy. Like, he... I understand Ice Poseidon's damn near illiterate, but it's also shocking just how dumb he is sometimes. He openly, on CoffeeZilla's interview, says, yeah, I took the money. No, I'm not giving it back. To half a million dollars, and I'm going to prove it. He personally profited $300,000 by stealing money out of a crypto scheme that he set up. And when I confronted Ice Poseidon, who's better known by his real name, Paul Danino, about this scam, he was shockingly honest. You want to keep the money that's not yours, that you took from the project, even though you'd failed to deliver. I mean, I'm not really sure what you want me to say, but yeah. I'm trying to like get you to return the money because it's 100% still available and you could do that. Yeah, I could give the money back. It is within my power, um, but I'm going to look out for myself and not do that I, I you know i don't like know what else to say that's just the most honest answer ice poseidon's like ed from ed ed netty the one that just keeps talking about buttered toast but if he was a criminal it is he's, he's honestly i swear to god like that stupid cartoon character that you think could never really exist in the real world but somehow he does but not only that i truly believe ice poseidon thinks he's done nothing wrong in the ice has done nothing wrong i'm just i'm just playing i don't know this guy's talking He's penguin. This guy penguins is talking from a perspective like 
he knows Paul personally. Like, I don't know Paul personally, but Penguins is talking too personal about him, calling him stupid. I, I mean, it seems like five months ago, it seems like, you know, Penguins is a little bit of a cloud chaser trying to ruin Paul's image even more. CoffeeZilla interview, there's a point where CoffeeZilla mentions that the people he took this money from are people that are less well off than he is. Somehow there are sentient, living, breathing human beings that for some reason were convinced this was a good idea to put money into. I, I, I just don't get it. For some reason, anytime cryptocurrency is mentioned, people just turn their brain off, hop on MetaMask, and dump their entire fucking life savings into poop-ass dog pussy coin and think that they're going to make a billion Sorry. dollars off of it. Like I don't get it, but it keeps happening. And CoffeeZilla mentions, like, hey, those people that you took the money from, they don't have that much money. And Ice Poseidon's like, oh, well, I don't like it when you say it like that. Now, I pleaded with Paul, or Ice Poseidon, to return the money that he stole, in part appealing to the... I've never watched this ever. I have not been on YouTube watching anything in damn near a year. ...that he didn't like how that made him sound. I don't know if you're aware of the fact that your average fan has way less money than you. So you're just taking from poor people. Like, you understand that, right? That is definitely not. That that is not a good way to put it. That's a pretty shitty way to put it, my dude. It's. Uh, I think it's a pretty shitty thing to do. So he clearly doesn't like to be confronted with the hard truth of what he actually did. So he's trying to like spin it somehow in his mind where he's not the bad guy. He's not the evil supervillain. So he's like, oh no no, this was actually a righteous thing to do. In fact, I'm like the Batman of crypto or, or some shit. Like he doesn't like it when you explain to him. That what he actually did is just scam people less fortunate than he is. And he, I really feel like he has this some kind of main character syndrome or hero complex. Because at the end of CoffeeZilla's video, spoiler alert, Facts. he does mention that he'll give back 155 grand. And then, like, what, expects us to pat him on the ass for it because he's giving back a fraction of the total amount that he stole? This goofy goober all... All right. Paul is definitely not a good person. I'm coining it here right now. 